And who has a better story than Bran the Broken? Many is the time I've been mistaken And many times confused Yes, and I've often felt forsaken And certainly misused Hi everybody, hello, no gab, boom, so we want to address Game of Thrones season 8 the disappointment you are a therapist among other things you teach you're doing your PhD in psychoanalysis and hermeneutics but you are here as a therapist we took personally the quality of the final season basically I want you to make us feel better so we're going through a mourning process right I mean, the show that we loved and we invested in for so many years, and it's been a lot of years, watching the show religiously. I mean, it was really like a cult in a way. A lot of investment a also. A lot of investment also. I mean, not only for us uh, that, you know, you were, you're running this channel for a few years and I joined you uh, recently, but... Uh, yeah, viewers. Yeah, I mean, we're also... Theorizing, viewers. commenting. Right, theorizing, commenting looking to see what other people say about the show so that they can, you know, validate their own theories and uh, opinions. Right. So we've also invested in it parts of ourselves as part of the projections that we made on the characters, as part of uh, living through them vicariously, whether consciously or not. Your name, please. Drobo. There was a kind of like uh, identification process that went on. Uh, I basically just wear this all the time. I mean, we talked about it. It's not just that the predictions didn't come true because if... Some of them did. Some of them did, of course. Many of your predictions did. But still, I wasn't happy about it. You weren't happy about it because uh, it's the fact that no one could understand why she became Queen of the North, right? And why Bran became king. Yeah, no one uh, really... And why John it. went out north. Right, yeah. I mean... Uh, and why Sam became the Grand Maester. Exactly. And, and why Dorne didn't uh, succeed. Okay, sorry. But the questions that you're asking is part of the mourning process. I mean, uh, if we compare the show to a loved one or like a romantic figure in our okay. lives, then usually after a breakup, when things are not justified, I mean, it ends, right? In this case, we knew it was coming to an end, but we felt it was premature in the sense that not all our answers, all our questions were answered. We were left with a whole lot of questions. Why the Night King exists? Well, exactly. I mean, we were just, you know, and then it was like, what? You know, what happened here? Why? Right. And we want to get answers to these questions. We want to get some kind of a resolution. And I felt it kind of invalidated a lot of the effort and the thought that we put in this story for so many years. We have been thinking about the Night King and why are the White Walkers here? Why do they symbolize? And then they're just... Nothing, just evil baddies, mm -hmm. and then they're just killed with a stab. That's it, Bob. So you're saying something about also feeling a bit um, ridiculed, uh, yeah. like... Uh, I feel stupid for spending uh, so much time thinking about it, mm -hmm. if it means nothing. Still when I think of the road we're traveling on, I wonder what's going can't help but wonder what's gone wrong. As if the, the show, like something that you once thought was so clever, was so, you know, was so uh, wise, uh, it turned out to be a waste of time. Right. I feel a bit, I feel embarrassed a little bit. Yeah, embarrassed that you invested all this time in it. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, I have this community with viewers no, and everything, but just like as a viewer. What you're feeling is not objectively true, but this is what you're feeling right now because, I mean, the show ended with your investment in it and it didn't pay off, right? Like, you didn't, uh, in this sense, like, in the sense of, like, the show. Of course, other things did pay off. Yeah, 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 of course. But not that. So, um, Right, so I feel like an idiot. Mm-hmm. I feel it's kind of, a, it's a little bit insulting. Yeah. And it seems then that you take it more seriously mm -hmm. than the creators. And right. it, it, it needs to be said, I think we haven't said it enough. 
the actors, I think this season did a great job, mm -hmm. great job, and I think that they are probably having a harder time than we are, obviously. Mm -hmm. So you're saying that you feel misled, right? Yes. Because you were more committed to this relationship, that's the way, you know, how you're thinking, how you're feeling right mm -hmm. now, than the creators of the show. Mm -hmm. We're not talking about rational things here, right? We're talking about uh, irrational, you know, okay. so like you invested in it a bit more. Right. Of like it's it wasn't only your time it was emotional content right. in a way yeah. maybe if the story is the relation the relationship then I love the relationship more than Dan and Dave love the relationship right right mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then it just like uh, poof ended mm -hmm. but now it's just another show you leave them And you don't understand what it means, and it kind of makes the the whole relationship seem more silly. What did you find in it in the first place? Right. I mean, it colors the whole thing in retrospect. Right. I mean, you go through different stages. So you go through, of course, uh, like an anger stage, and then you start bargaining. And we see that also with the viewers, right? I mean, they start bargaining. Maybe, you know, we'll sign a petition, we'll have another season. There's this difficulty of letting go. I mean, it, could have, it couldn't have ended that way. We no. need to, you know, we need to get him back. And then maybe, you know, we'll choose not to, to view the, the, the final season, right? We want to be empowered again. We were disempowered by this lousy ending and this lousy series. And we just want our power back as viewers. They're trying to get back together with the show. There is right. no... Yes. But I think it's mostly like 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 like, like sending a message like rah, whatever, sending mm -hmm. an angry letter to your right, ex, right. like yeah. rah, 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 leaving rah, 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 rah. those drunken phone calls in the <laughs> middle of the night. You did uh, this and yeah. that to me. I just want you to know that you're a horrible person. And speaking of stages, I like feel like I'm in denial in mm -hmm. some way. Mm -hmm. For example, I'm in denial that Daenerys is dead. I'm just like, no, she's not dead. In my head, she's not dead. Mm -hmm. Because it was so unsatisfying the way it was, even though I knew she was going to die yeah. and I predicted in some way that it would be John or some way and at the end she was going to go mad, blah, 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 blah. but still it was just like this way, I'm like, no, she's still alive. Sansa, no, it's open-ended, as if, as if the last episode didn't happen. And then they're tweeting that they started shooting the prequel and I'm like... Obviously, I'm going to watch the prequel and stuff, but I, but if I go to my irrational side, I'm like, I don't know if I want to watch the prequel. I'm going to spend all this time uh, analyzing the prequel, breaking it down, looking for foreshadows, for signs. Why? They could just, uh, whatever, end it the same way that I did this. And I know this means nothing. Mm -hmm. I Like, I don't trust them anymore. But now you've treated me so wrong. I can't take any more. And it looks like I'm never gonna fall in love again. Right, it's a, it's a matter of trust whether you can go back into the same kind of uh, commitment in the next relationship or not. Or uh, do you feel like you have to be more suspicious towards it? Towards women. Or uh, TV shows. Tw uh, Game of Thrones TV shows. Game of Thrones TV shows, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. not women. No, let's uh, not generalize things. Let's keep things very specific. <laughs> We're talking about Game of Thrones now, Gil. We're not talking about other things. There's a lot of suspicion. I mean, uh, should I be invested in it? I might watch it, but be a bit, you know, be a, be a bit avoidant also, yeah. like... Uh, distant, cynical. Distant, yeah, like, uh, you know, just, you know, I want the show to prove itself to me. I can't really, uh, yes. you know, surrender to it immediately. Right, and, uh, just definitely. Like, yeah, that's part of uh, being burned. So basically, ending without a re resolution, uh, we're left with, uh, you know, questions such as why and right. what the fuck and, you know. <laughs> like we were left a note where he woke up. Uh, okay, we knew our lover was going to move abroad. Yeah. 
but she just left the note, left a note, whatever. Just like, what? No, but let's, uh, whatever. Let's talk yeah, about it. Let's, let's celebrate uh, our close our ends, love. closure, yeah. stuff like that. Yeah, it doesn't yeah, have to be sad. It can be happy. Right? Yeah, it can be moving on to a different stage. But like from a, you know, a feeling that we uh, could leave the, the last stage behind. So what do people do when they have like a, a relationship ends with no resolution? What's like the healthy process? So, signing a petition? And signing a petition or writing a letter, even, even if you don't write it, uh, you know, if you don't send it to the other person. I mean, it's basically what we're trying to do now. I mean, we're trying to figure out what we're feeling. Uh, in order to start differentiating between what we're feeling and what the object has made us feel, you know, and, and just realizing that the show is gone, this is the way it ended, this is the way it was, you know, the reality principle must come in, you no, know, yeah, you're not there yet, yeah. <laughs> but the basically, okay, Freud, when he talked about mourning and melancholy, he talked about the mourning process as uh, something which is, you know, very natural, right? I mean, we lose something that we love, an object, a person, you know, in psychoanalysis, like the classical psychoanalysis, a person is our object. Okay. We're sad about it and that's okay. And, you know, at one point we move on. But what, you, what makes the mourning process end and not turn into melancholy, like not turn into depression? Okay. It's our ability to retrieve uh, our fragments of self that we have invested in that object. Yes. So if we feel like we really invested in a relationship that now the other person carries parts of us with them, when they go away, we feel like something is missing, you know? I mean, in ourselves. Yeah. Not only the person, like not, I mean, their function in our life and, you know, the parts that belong to us, that he's now walking or she is now walking around right, in the right, world right. with them. So now there's this special offer, whatever, uh, you can see the more details in the, on our Patreon page. New patrons coming in from the ten dollar tiers. Uh, uh, they they come into they come on the podcast and we discuss uh, the show from an angle that has not been discussed before. And I feel this is kind of like a reclaiming. Like no, I'm not gonna let them uh, ruin uh, everything that invested uh, that I invested in the story. I still want to talk about history in the story, politics mm -hmm. in the story, linguistics mm -hmm. in the story. Yeah, yeah, it's part of us and we're part of it also. I mean, the viewers, and I think this is also part of the feeling of being misled because uh, what made the show really, and this is also what the creator said and what the, the, the actor said, like the cast said, was the fact that there was a lot of, like, there was a lot of uh, buzz about it. Yeah, people yeah. like us mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hello, us. People like us that uh, invested in this show and made it great because uh, otherwise it would have just been like a fantasy show or whatever. Right. I mean, uh, we saw things in it that the creators clearly didn't see. <laughs> right. <laughs> we upgraded um, it like, you know, right. 100 times more. Right. And uh, from all kinds of creative angles. And it was really easy in that sense because uh, there was a lot of... Uh, a lot of room in it, like for projections also. Right, because I, of the work that he did. Of what he did, right. I mean, okay, this is also like a split that we're doing, right? I mean, in a way, we're splitting between the them and he, the right, guy. exactly. Yeah. Like he made it and they ruined it. Yeah. They're the bad object, he's the good object. So, right, I really like, I, like I, was, I was really like depressed for a few days after the show. I was like walking around really sad. And people who are not into that, mm -hmm. they just couldn't understand right. why this is just a television show. But no, it's not just that. Exactly. It's everything that I put in it, all the thought, all the effort, all the anticipation. And then just it felt like a slap in the face. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. you love someone and they're just like, I don't care about you. Right. I'm just going to go to the next person, right, Star Wars, whatever, right, to the next yeah. fandom, moving on, like, what the heck? Yeah, and people are like, oh, what's the problem? There are, you know, plenty of fish in the sea or whatever. And, you know, it's, uh, yeah, it could but be- But not a like this fish. Us. Not like this fish and not, the, and not my fish, you know, that was my fish. And uh, it swam away without, uh, 
without permission. <laughs> so what? So okay. So now what? What would you recommend a patient that uh, that go, uh, that is going through uh, a similar process? The thing that makes us move on is basically a sense of hope. You know that we can love again. That we can you know invest again in a in in a show or whatever another endeavor. But you know without thinking, am I making the right investment? Uh, I mean, we can be like, you know, carefully optimistic, that's okay. Uh, maybe not run with open arms to the, you know, to the next thing, uh, but uh, definitely run towards it or walk right. towards it, you know. Movies, TV shows, mm -hmm. books. Yeah. Not to say Game of Thrones is the end all be all of uh, human culture. Right. <laughs> 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 That's where it started, and this is where it will end. Yes, <laughs> yeah. nothing before. <laughs> nothing it. before. It. But this is exactly the thing, you know, that sometimes helps. Like it's part of the depressive position. We talked about it on this channel for quite a bit. That uh, part of the resolution, like the like the closure process, recognizing that they had good parts in it, and that they contributed, or they, you know, gave us a lot in life. You know, even if we learned what we don't want through them, right. still we learned something. We are friends thanks to them. Yeah, exactly. And your channel, uh, you know, everything that will develop afterwards yeah. is uh, thanks to them. Yes. Thanks to him, not to them. But, like, yeah. but also to them. Basically, but also to them. Because they made it popular. Exactly. Yeah, that's true. I mean, without them, it would have been, uh, you know, just... Super niche. Yeah. Yeah. Like Dune or something like that. So it's not the same. Mm -hmm. Moving on. I feel a little better. So you say, just to sum up, we are right to feel angry and betrayed yeah. and sad. It's not a silly or stupid. Mm -mm. We should do what we can to focus on the good things that we got from the story, not have them now be turned meaningless because, that, because they were careless mm -hmm. with, uh, with our love. Right. of the story mm -hmm. and also act as if the last episode didn't happen and just uh, stay open-ended right yes what? okay no, so thank not, you everybody for watching what I was saying. thank you Noga <laughs> I just you know and uh, thank you patrons for supporting the channel very good job uh, Noga I really, I, I, really, I really like uh, like your advice uh, I can tell you're very good what I was saying so uh, we'll see you all next time. Next time, we're going to put Dan and Dave on the couch. Yeah. Psychoanalyze Dan and Dave. We're going to do, it's going to be a mental exercise. We're going to put ourselves in their shoes, mm -hmm. empathize with them, with yeah. their traumas, with their hardships. Mm -hmm. see, I, can, I, I can feel my body rebelling against that very notion as I speak. Mm -hmm. Okay, so stay tuned, subscribe not to miss that video and all our other videos unrelated to Game of Thrones. Thank you everybody for watching. Bye! Bye! Got Academy is sponsored by our patrons.